go. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Demon's Crest. We're finally ready to go fight Phalanx. We got all our ginseng filled. This is the legendary gargoyle. Uh, it's essentially firebrand, normal firebrand, except we've got double defense and we look fucking awesome. We've also got a much wider shot that does a lot of damage. It does five times the normal damage. And it will pretty much wreck everything. Town Gargoyle's terrified of us because he thinks we're the red demon that killed everyone, so let's try try to kill him, but guy's tougher than he looks, what can I say? Anyways, we'll, we'll head to fire uh, to Phalanx's castle now, which, as you'll see when we get there, is actually quite different. We don't just go straight to Phalanx, we actually have a level to go through, so that'll be fun. Here I come, Phalanx. Your ass is going down, boy. As a level, I think this is kind of a letdown compared to the Ice Palace. The Ice Palace had a more difficult feel to it. This one is just, okay, just get to the boss while dealing with these obstacles. These goblins with crossbows and these jesters, which are actually the most annoying enemy in the game. We have everything in the game now except for one life up, one talisman, and uh, one crest power. And uh, we'll be getting all of that by the end of the LP, but not by the end of this video, because we're not going for the best ending, as it were. Hippogriff makes his final comeback. This is his third and final appearance. He's very easy now, because we've got our, uh, our very powerful move that we can just spam on him. Once again, no new move, just the same old guy. Got a bit more health, but... That all amounts to nothing when you consider how strong or how much stronger we are. Like I said in the last video, with the armor and legendary gargoyle, we basically have four times the health. It it is pretty much impossible to die with this, unless you are fighting a very difficult boss. And goodbye, hippogriff, forever. Full life. This next part's kinda tricky. You just gotta fly upwards while dodging everything. There's no other trick to it, really. I don't see. You. Like, you could theoretically use the claw. Have to be an idiot to do so. Just fly up as soon as you Alright, time to get the final life up. I I'll admit this is clever. I spent my whole childhood not knowing this was here. It's a pretty cool uh, little thing that and now we have <coughs> we're maxed out we have all the life we can have in the room go through this section where there's heavy winds that push us forward but there's also spike towers that we want to avoid so we'll stick to our uh, aerial gargoyle for now it's a cool little area easy to get hit but it's no, it's no biggie This part here, you, you want to just fall, not try to dodge anything. With the armor equipped, and the, like you take about one health of damage. Essentially, look at that. We're done. It's no real biggie. <clears throat> this next part would be cool because it's kind of like a catacomb where all the zombies come from out of the Iron Maidens. But you can fly over it, so it's like, uh... They really break the game by letting you fly everywhere. It's kind of a shame. And here, too low, so I have to switch to the aerial, but I screw up and... <clears throat> now we can switch to the other guy there. And right before we finish this section, we have a nice little encounter with our buddy Grey Wan. Except this time it's not going to be the same. Legendary Gargoyle does 10 damage to Grey Wan. Grey Wan has 64 health. It will take 7 hits to kill Grey Wan. We also have our quadruple defense going for us. But Grey Wan is a giant bitch at this point. Feels good too, getting a little bit of revenge. Not quite as satisfying as it should be, but we'll see that later. Anyways, he's going down. Down for the count. Drops a nice little life up. Oh. Life full, I should say. Music stops. Ominous door. Bunch of dead people skulls there. I wonder what could await. <laughs> 